Well, well, I thought I was done recording videos for the day, and then I saw I was tagged by my friend from the channel known as Fragrance Fraternity. So, top five fragrances to stand out from the pack. Apparently, this tag, I don't know if it started with TZ Fragrance, shout out TZ Fragrance, but that's who tagged him. So, what the hell, I got inspired, I watched this video, so why the hell not? While he was talking and I was watching, I started grabbing fragrances. So, I wanted to go a little outside the box. So let's check out the five that I would recommend for you to wear to stand out from the pack. So with these five, not only are you going to stand out from the pack with the average person that you're going to be around in your daily life, which most fragrances are going to make you stand out from those people. Well, this will even make you stand out from most fragrance enthusiasts, such as yourself and me. So the first one I decided to go with is one I haven't reached for in a little while, but it is very special. If you like vanilla, musk, and suede, a musky suede smell, then you might like Soul of My Soul from Ita Lib d'Orange. This is a special, special fragrance. You can see the slight dent in this. There was a time when I was wearing this a good bit. Hold this in high regard. Definitely better for the cooler weather. You can get away with it in the warmer climate, though. High heat, high humidity. Don't do that. Uh, but spring, fall, winter, indoor settings in a climate-controlled environment, absolutely. There's elegance here. There's quality. It's it's Italy Bron, so nice luxury, yet affordable quality fragrance. Um, like I said, there's a bright citric freshness at the top, but it settles very quickly into this slightly more creamy musk, powdery soft vanilla, and then that suede notes, very buttery, but also a little fuzzy because of the enhanced tone of muskiness here. Performance is really good. You don't need much. This one's got a little bit of an animalistic tone for being, because the way the musk comes across and also having this delicious gourmand facet, the way the vanilla comes across, very cooling feel to this vanilla, almost like a vanilla bean ice cream feel, but not quite that cooling like some other vanilla fragrances that I have, but that animalistic tone to the suede accord and that creamy musk. It smells closer to a more civet type of musk, though I doubt it's actual like deer musk or anything like that, but it's relatively animalistic. This is definitely very appealing and will indeed make you stand out from the crowd. Soul of my soul from Ital Ligue d'Orange. Now this next one is the highest level of versatility of my five recommendations in this video because it manages to meld two worlds together in fragrance where you get watery fresh with fresh green, earthy, woodsy, fresh spicy. Like typically all of that doesn't work but the newest release from Kajal Perfumes called Masa, it manages to definitely, definitely work. This is so well composed, gorgeous, next level presentation with these crystals and emeralds and all that good stuff. It's a beautiful presentation, but the most important thing is this beautiful mist that I just sprayed. I, I just, I don't know, I don't know how they did it. I mean, I'm not a trained perfumer anyway, so I really wouldn't completely understand how they did it, but the balancing act here with these notes is very impressive to me because this is extremely unique for having such a high level of versatility that this is a great daily wear fragrance for you to really separate yourself from the crowd while still having what I feel to be really next to no challenge. It's not, you know, the type of playfulness of the modern synthetics and blues that a lot of younger men will go after. So I would say most guys that are into fragrances 25, age 25 and above would appreciate and get better use out of this fragrance. Though I think anybody that gets their nose on this might be impressed. Now, the, the guy that's used to a polo fragrance or, or a, a Sauvage or a Blue de Chanel, maybe not so much. This is going to be kind of a little bit more advanced of a versatile fragrance for them. But if you spend a little time with this one, it's hard not to fall in love. Though I don't find it to be any challenge, it is definitely a niche perfume lover's versatile fragrance. Just, I, I don't have anything else even remotely close to this. It's Masa from Kajal, Kajal Perfumes. We're starting to dial up the uniqueness here. This next one is a very mysterious fragrance. It's rich, it's a warm rose with incenses and resins and woods. It's dark, but still manages to just have this alluring quality to really pull people in. It's my favorite 
from Sphinx Fragrances. This is Sphinx Elixir. This is next level good, guys. Now, versatility, maybe not as high as the previous fragrance we discussed, but showstopper. This is so good. That, like I said, it's my favorite from the house. It's mysterious. It has that dark, warm, elixir type of feel to it. Like, the name is fitting. It does have this magical feel. Like I said, resins, balsamic. There's a lot of incense here. And like I said, this, I believe it's a rock rose, if I remember correctly, offers a little bit of a thick, jammy feel without having much of a rosy type of smell. You know what I'm talking about. Performance is stellar, leaves a dense, lingering trail. It's an extra de parfum, high oil concentration. This is strong stuff. You don't need a lot of sprays. Less is more to still separate yourself from the crowd. I can almost guarantee the crowd you're going to walk into wearing this fragrance probably A, has never smelled this before, and B, is going to be very intrigued because it's going to smell nothing like any of the rest of them in the room. Again, that's Sphinx Fragrances. This is Sphinx Elixir. Now, not every man is comfortable enough to wear a rose-based fragrance. They don't all come across masculine. This one definitely leans masculine for being rose-dominant. Multifaceted rose. Even peony is in here, which is typically found in feminine fragrances. But the way the incense, this olibanum resinous incense smoky feel with this warm wood tone from oud, because it's not a funky type of oud, with sugary sweetness is amazing from Zaharoff Signature Rosé. In my opinion, the best men's rose fragrance on the market. This stuff, I've had people stop me in my tracks to ask me what I'm wearing. This is extremely unique. Now, women can wear this as well. Obviously, my wife has her own bottle. It's more of a sweet rose on her, where it's more of a smoky, resinous, warm rose on my skin. Like I said, the Olaban and the incense really pops off of my skin. Performance is great. It doesn't overwhelm. It sticks to the skin like glue, and let's say 8, 10, 12 hours later, if your skin starts to heat up, it'll start pumping off the skin again like you just recently sprayed it. This stuff's intoxicating. High, high, super high compliment factor. You will stand out from the pack with this one. Hands down, bar none, no questions asked. It was the Haroff Signature Rosé. The biggest showstopper of them all, I saved the best for last. This was actually ranked. I kind of did rank them this time. Because you're, you're turning heads with this. Your sillage is dense. Your sillage is immense. This is one of the five, even the last one, Rosé falls into this category. One of the five best fragrances I've ever smelled in my actual top five among all these over thousand fragrances that I have was Signature Rosé and is definitely Vertus Vanilla Oud. This is a special, special, special fragrance. Now the first time I smelled this was on my friend Justin Copeland. Shout out to him. And I have to say, and I may tag him actually, um, this was intoxicating. 14, 15 hours later when we went to film content in our hotel rooms that night, uh, he walked by me and it punched me in the nose. This is a thick, creamy vanilla, a slight animalistic tone to the way that oud comes across with saffron and spices, herbs, amber. <sighs> Warm, cozy, unique, nuanced. So strong, so strong. Again, this is one of the best fragrances I have ever had the pleasure of smelling. You want to talk about stand out from the crowd? Absolutely. Now look, is there hype behind this one here in the community in the little small segment in the world of perfumery? Yes, but the world as a whole, you're going to stand out in the crowd everywhere you go with this one. Even in the slightest of chances you run across another fragrance lover in this community that just so happens to be wearing it at the same time as you, bet you guys will have a great conversation if you recognize what one another's wearing, but this is the ultimate way to stand out, of, out from a crowd, in my opinion, because most of the time from discounters, you can get this for a decent price for what you're getting for your money. Low $100 price point, which like 120 to 150 range, which is retail for most designers at Macy's these days. And I can promise you, this is light years better. In every category you can come up with for a fragrance, this is going to rank higher, at least for me, in my opinion. I strongly suggest you try this one. If given the opportunity, seek out a decant. Try it for yourself. The ultimate way to stand out from the pack, in my opinion, Virtus Vanilla Oud. Well, that was my five. I guess I need to tag some people. Typically, I leave it as an open tag. 
and I, I think I'm going to stick to that. So anybody that creates fragrance content, whether it's on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, whatever you do, and you see this and you think it sounds like a good idea of something you would want to create your take on, by all means, you are tagged. Because I don't want to put the pressure on anyone because I don't want to risk the tag dying. That's the main reason that I like to do it as an open tag. So anybody that sees this, that wants to do it, tag, you are it. Thank you again, Fragrance Fraternity, for tagging me, TZ Fragrance. I don't know if you started or not, but it made its way to me from you. So shout outs to you, my friend. And uh, until next time, uh, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, because I do appreciate all the feedback. And I love hearing from you guys. Have any of you tried any of these five? What do you think of them? Curious. If you're an enthusiast and you're a regular on this channel, I know you've got some hype behind uh, Vanilla Oud and Signature Rosé more than likely. But let me know what you guys think. And until next time, I will say if you do end up getting your hands on any of these five and you give them a spray now, you'll more than likely thank me later because you'll definitely stand out from the pack. Have a good one, guys.